Today on Sugar Spun Run, we'll be making chocolate chip scones. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. Today we are making chocolate chip scones. They are very similar to my classic scones, but a little bit richer, a little bit sweeter, perfectly complementing the chocolate chips we're going to be adding. I think you're going to love them. Oh, we're also making them miniature. You can make them regular size if you'd like, but I love the nice two to three bite size of these. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you've made my scones before, you know I love using a food processor to make quick, easy work of this and gives us flaky, buttery scones. First ingredient we'll add to our food processor is two cups of all-purpose flour and preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by a fourth cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. We'll be using one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a fourth teaspoon of salt. This is just regular table salt. Now, we're just going to pulse everything together until it's combined. And the next thing you're going to need is one half cup of unsalted butter. Not just any butter though, this needs to be very, very cold butter. What I do is I'll usually cut up mine into cubes and then I'll pop it in the freezer while I prepare the rest of my ingredients. I like to let it chill for at least 10, 15 minutes before I use it. So we're just going to scatter this over the surface of our flour mixture. We're going to pulse everything again until the butter is mostly worked into the flour mixture. Now we're not going to totally work it in. We want to still see some discernible pieces of butter, preferably no larger than say a chocolate chip in size when we're finished. And you do want to pulse. Don't just turn it on and blend it. You want to pulse in like one second pulses. That was about 10 one second pulses. Let's take a look, Let's see how it looks. I still have a little bit of butter that's a bit bigger than I'd like it to be, so I'm going to give this a couple more pulses. And that looks pretty good. We have some about pea-sized or chocolate chip-sized pieces of butter remaining. That's perfect. All right, next you're going to need a half cup of heavy cream, and we're also going to need a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now to help everything combine nicely, I'm just going to add that vanilla right in with the cream and whisk these two ingredients together. Now we'll pour this evenly over the flour mixture. And we're going to pulse everything again until the mixture just begins to cling together. And again, pulsing is important rather than just turning it on and letting it blend everything because what's gonna happen if you do that is everything will stick to the bottom. You're not going to get nice cohesive scones. You're going to get a dough that's pretty much unusable. I've seen it happen before. Okay, that was like 28 one second pulses. Let's take a look. You can see I have a mixture that's still a bit crumbly, but you don't really see much dry flour remaining. And if you take the dough and you press it between your fingers, it should cling together. This one holds together perfectly. So we're ready for our next step, which is to remove it from the food processor. You always wanna watch out for the blade because it's sharp. All right, now I'm going to just lightly flour my surface. It's a little bit of flour. And we'll turn our dough out onto our countertop. I'm going to work the dough together a bit. Now, whenever you're making scones, you wanna make sure you don't overwork the dough or you're going to end up with dense, dry scones. So I wanna be mindful of that. Don't wanna handle it too much. Don't wanna warm it up with my hands too much. So I have it mostly combined here. I'm gonna add my chocolate chips. I'm just gonna work these in. You can see this is super haphazard. I'm just trying to get them somewhat distributed through the dough. Now we're going to quickly laminate the dough, which is going to help work it together and help give it those nice buttery layers. Now to do this, we're just going to fold the dough over itself. And you can see it doesn't really have a nice uniform shape at this point. That's fine, we're gonna get there. So I'm going to fold it over itself. And as I do it, I'm going to work these chocolate chips in. Again, being quick, I'm going to flatten it, turn it 90 degrees. Fold it over itself again, flatten it. And I'm going to repeat this a total of about five times. This is two, three. Four. Each time I'm working it together a little bit more. Five. Now I'm going to divide this into two separate discs because I'm going to be making mini scones. If you wanna make classically sized scones, we're just going to form it into a single disc. Don't wanna overwork the dough, but I do wanna get it into a nice smooth disc. And I wanna make each of these about four, four and a half inches wide. You want them to be pretty smooth on top too. 
Now we'll cut each of these into wedges. You wanna grab yourself a sharp knife and it is so important when you're doing this step that you press straight down. Do not saw through the dough or your edges are going to be all kinds of wonky. Just press straight down and lift straight up. And we're cutting each disc into eight even wedges. Now place these on your baking sheet. We'll space the scones at least an inch apart. That one turned out really mini, so I'm going to put it near the center of the pan because it'll bake a little slower there. Now in my written recipe, I'm going to provide instructions for you to add a vanilla glaze after baking if you'd like, but today I don't feel like doing a glaze, so I'm just gonna do a simple sugar topping. To do this, I'd have a little bit of heavy cream here. I'm going to brush the surface of each scone with just a little bit of cream. This is just going to help the sugar that I'm going to be adding to it here. And then I'm going to add some coarse sugar on top. When I say some, I mean a lot because I like sugar. Some people come to this channel and they get a little surprised about that. It's right in the name. Now we'll take these over to our preheated oven where they'll need to bake for about 13 to 14 minutes. When they're finished baking, the edges will just be beginning to turn a light golden brown. We'll let these scones cool completely on the baking sheet before we enjoy them. And that is how easy it is to make these miniature two or three bite chocolate chip scones. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. And if you try this one, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. I don't know if you can see those layers, but these look great. Mm. They're so good. <laughs>